Ole. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's very easy, but it's time consuming. So the first thing you do is you, you add water to this pot. I would say about maybe four cups worth. And then you cook the, I like it with uh, a mixture of dark and brown. So I'm going to add the chicken legs first and cook them in this uh, six cups of water with about maybe four or five garlic cloves and a, and a piece like a fourth of, a, of, a, of an onion. So as it's boiling, you notice that the chicken releases some brown things. So um, make sure you take those out with a strainer. I don't like to. I don't like to leave them there. You can, but I prefer not to. Once the chicken legs are almost cooked, you're gonna add the. I'm gonna add some chicken um, breasts. So let me add the chicken breasts. Okay, I'm going to add the chicken breasts. I'm going to throw them in there. Let everything cook. And then I'm going to cover it until they're cooked. Okay, I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I normally make the mole from scratch, um, but today, since I'm pressed for time, I'm gonna use Doña Maria mole, and it's eight servings. See, and then what I'll do is I'll open it and then I'll put the contents in the blender, and I'll add some of the chicken broth from the cooked chicken, and then blend it together. And I'll show you later how to do it. Okay, so this is the mole sauce that I make usually make from scratch. Uh, it's a little time consuming, so when I make it, I make sure I make lots of it, and then I freeze part of it, and then I just take it out as I need it. Okay, this is what it looks like. It'll be a little bit. And then once the chicken breasts are cooked, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred the chicken breasts. Two. Okay, once the chicken is cooked, you're going to take out the broth. Okay. And I like to use the broth. You don't have to. You can use water. But what you do is you'll empty the contents of the, of the mole into your blender. And then you're going to do... Um, it's one part mole and then four parts um, chicken broth, or you can use water. I like to use chicken broth because it gives it more of a flavor. It's It'll, it'll be very tasty. Um, so I'm about to do that. And if you notice, I have all the, I have the um, mole sauce in here. It's kind of thick right now. And then, oop, sorry. I just pour, you pour the chicken broth in there, and then you'll blend it. Let me cover this. Now, you might see a little bit of uh, maybe some leftover broth. That's okay. Um, I'll leave it in there. Then I'll throw it in the blender. looks like so then what you'll do is next I'm going to take out the chicken breast and um, shred it a little bit not too much and also you want to take the onions there out of there or if you want you can use them um, to make your sauce you can throw them in there but Okay, let's take out the, this one. You might want to wait a little bit for the chicken um, breast to cool, 
or you can use a fork to do that. I'm going to pull this out. Okay, so you can just kind of shred it out. Okay. Once you shredded your um, chicken breast, which I have, or cut it up, however you want, um, I'll add it here. Now, there's different ways people make it. Some people make it with um, the leg bone in, and then some people like to shred it, like to take out the bone. That would be up to you. And also some people make um, this with only chicken legs and chicken thighs. That would be, that's not good. That's the, okay, so I'm going to add the breast. It's just a matter of prefer, preference. Okay, I'm going to add the, um, the mole sauce. So you just add it in there. And then make sure the chicken is covered with mole sauce. And then you're going to let it cook for a little bit just to get the flavors in the chicken. It's doing, I think it's probably ready. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty thick. It should look pretty thick. So, let's get to stir it. And I think it's ready to eat. You might want to check the salt content and add more to your liking. I try not to use a lot of salt, so um, I just used a little bit and I add salt to the chicken when I'm cooking it. I forgot to mention that. Okay, here it is. I'm going to pair the mole with beans and rice, which is um, really, really good. Okay, I'm going to get a leg. Let's put the leg over here. And then put some chicken breast. Let's see how thick it is. I like a lot of mole on mine, the, the sauce, so I kind of just spread it all on top like this. Okay, here it is, my first dish. Um, next time I'll show you how to make the rice um, and the beans from scratch. So subscribe and uh, to check out my next uh, recipes. Okay, buen provecho, which means bon appetit. Bye.